Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand types of order of growth of an algorithm, the concepts of order of growth, the definition of order of growth, and the concepts of time complexity and the asymptotic notations has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding of those concepts is very much important for you to understand what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now what is uh, types of uh, order of growth of an algorithm so these are the different types of order of growths that we are going to uh, that we are going to come across in this entire course for an algorithm if you are given with an algorithm the 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 efficiency from now on order of growth and efficiency can be used uh, uh, we, uh, 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 both of them are same so consider uh, the, if you are given with an uh, algorithm the efficiency of that algorithm is going to be among one of these so it is one so uh, we will try to understand one by one here the first one is the order of growth is one order of growth is one means if we are having an algorithm and as the input of that the input given to this algorithm changes the output that is the, the number of steps that are executed in order to get that output is one it means that whatever the input every time it is going to take a constant amount of time for example if you are given 100 values for 100 values also the number of steps that are executed is one step and if you give 1000 steps uh, 1000 inputs for 1000 inputs also the number of times that uh, that algorithm will get executed is one it is not only one it may be three steps it may be four steps but those steps those number of steps are going to be constant for each for every input that we are going to give to that algorithm so that is what we call it as order of growth that is what we call it as efficiency of an algorithm so that efficiency of an algorithm is constant every time we change the input it is going to take constant number of steps to get the output so such kind of algorithms is considered so constant order of growth of that algorithm is going to be constant okay and the next one is logarithmic growth so logarithmic growth means log n for example if the input of the algorithm is 8 so the number of steps that are executed in order to get the output order of growth means efficiency efficiency means the number of steps that are getting executed in order to get the output for example if you have an input size of 8 and you give this 8 input number 8 inputs into to this algorithm to this algorithm whose efficiency is log n so the number of steps that are getting executed is log n means log 8 log 8 means it is log of 2 power 3 so here it is uh, so the number of steps that are executed is three steps will get executed so such kind of algorithms for example uh, one more thing that we can understand is uh, for example if it is 16 if you give the input to this algorithm uh, uh, 16 inputs are given 16 inputs are given means it is log of 16 is log of 16 is log of 2 power 4 2 power 4 means 4 is the number of steps that are getting executed try to get that point 16 inputs are given means so the number of steps that are getting executed is 4 so such kind of growth is there means for example if you give 20 it will be between 4 and 5 this will be between 4 and 5 so when we are going to get it as 5 it is 2 power uh, 32 if the number of inputs are 32 then it is going to get 5 any value between 16 and 32 is going to be in between 4 and 5 it may be 4.2 it may be 4.3 4.4 so so try to get that point so this is what we call it as logarithmic growth rate of growth the way in which the steps are getting executed is logarithmic to the number of inputs that are given this is how the behavior of the algorithm is okay try to get that point so the efficiency the other kind of order of growth is log of n and the next one is linear growth n linear growth means for example if you have given eight inputs means the number of steps that are getting executed is eight steps linear 
so this is what we call it as linear for example if you give 10 inputs means the number of steps that are executed is again uh, uh, 10 so here the value of input is the n okay so uh, next one is linear logarithmic linear logarithmic means for example if you the number of inputs are 4 means 4 into log 4 4 into log 4 is uh, log 4 is 2 4 2 is 8 the number of steps that are getting executed for 4 input of 4 is uh, 8 steps will get executed 8 steps will get executed such kind of algorithms is what we call it as uh, n log n we will try to solve lots of problems on this so at this point of time try to get the different types of uh, 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 order of growth of an algorithm and the next one is quadratic growth for example if you give four steps uh, four inputs then it is going to be 4 square 4 square means 4 into 4 which is 16 16 step, steps are getting executed in order to get the output cubic n cube 2 steps 2 inputs are given means 2 cube which is going to be 8 and the next one is exponential for example if you give 2 steps means 2 power 2 which is 4 if, if you give 5 inputs 2 power 5 this is exponential growth 2 power 5 means 2 into 2 into 2 into which is 32 steps will get executed in order to get the output so try to get that point the, these are the different types of order of groups that we are going to come across for the to calculate the efficiency of an algorithm order of growth and uh, as we move from top to bottom the efficiency uh, that the, the amount of time taken by an algorithm to get the input is increasing so the efficiency is decreasing and the amount of time that is taken by the algorithm to get the output is uh, 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 is increasing the amount of time is increasing and the efficiency is decreasing if the amount of time taken by an algorithm is increasing means it is less efficient see here constant amount of time means this is highly efficient so we will not get these kind of algorithms and log n means so we have some algorithms with log n efficiency these are the efficient algorithms so for n number of inputs it is going to take for example if you give eight inputs means in three steps we are going to get the output so these are efficient algorithms for example if you take 2 power n if you have if you have five inputs means this is going to take 2 power n number of steps to get the output 2 power n means 32 steps it is taking to get the output try to get the 32 steps are taken for this algorithm to get the output with five inputs so this is the highest uh, time taken by an algorithm so this is less efficient algorithm okay so these are the different types of uh, 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 order of growth that are there in this entire course or uh, the algorithms will be considered these are the order of growth that are considered for the if we, to find the efficiency of an algorithm hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching